Well, I'm on the water. Just got put in. As you can see, it's beautiful, nice day. It's gonna be kind of cool in the morning. But here we go. Hal's walking down the ramp. I'm gonna fire up the beast. Hit up the lake. So, uh, what secret spot should we head to first? The one that has fish on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's. We're gonna go to this one. I, when we get there, we'll identify it. But it'll definitely be a secret that no one. No one knows. No one knows about. Especially here. <laughs> As soon as he gets seen, I, 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 I'm all ready to go. <laughs> hey, that's a nice buff you got there. Who gave you that? You like that? It's a fashion yeah. statement. It is. It's, yeah. <laughs> that's how it is. You got to have the fashion statement, the look. I gotta wait for Hal to be 100% ready. Just say when, and then we'll, okay. we'll blast off. Hit it. I've got one. Took me to one of his secret spots. What do we got? What do we got? We got. Oh, okay. <laughs> quick release. <laughs> Edit that out. Oh, sure. All right, I, we pulled up to one of our secret spots. Now this is. This, oh, you want to get, this, this is an absolute secret. So we're, we're going to boat flip one. I'll turn it on now since we're going to start catching fish. Uh, what is this spot called? It's a secret crash something? Yeah, airplane rock. Or airplane crash, airplane crash something rock? Does that sound right? Something like that. Very yeah, yeah, secret. yeah. For all you guys that live in Oregon and Idaho, you're all going to go, Oh, he's all over that spot, and I got so many big fish there. But we had to go to a secret spot. Nobody hardly fishes this one. But, uh, oh, Hal just missed one. But if we're out here, just kind of, at least I didn't lose one to the boat. <laughs> But yeah, uh, they're all over the graph here. Pretty thick. I see fish swimming around. Just got to be slow and slow and Joe. There was a storm that came through here last night. I think personally, it, it messes these desert lakes up. Anytime you have a storm, right, or some kind of change of weather, it kind of messes up these desert type fish. 
So we haven't caught really anything yet. We've been fishing for an hour. We've been testing what four or five spots out. Seen crappie everywhere. Yeah. Caught a few crappie, but <clears throat> on everything else, small fish. So we thought we'd go to a good old secret spot on uh, suicide crash something airplane. I don't know. Seaplane <laughs> point. Huh? A seaplane point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, we're throwing jigs and Carolina rigs and drop shot and swim baits and we're throwing just a little bit about of everything. But there's fish around. Just for some reason, they're just as skinny as that one was. You'd think you'd be eating a lot more. But yeah, thought we'd get try to get a little bit of something on film. But it hasn't the magic hasn't happened yet. We might go to a place they call the parking lot or hog pen or Walmart. Walmart that that might work or, or the uh, cinder block point or whatever. What do they call it? <laughs> That's another secret. I I don't know if many people know about that. The parking lot It's pretty vast wide known area that no one knows about <laughs> and try that but I may but it's a slow drag slow go yo yo and seems like uh, nothing's being aggressive yet this morning we've tried quite a few little things and who knows I might make a cast right here and catch one of them five six pounders which are so famous here that I've been seeing everybody posting on Facebook. <laughs> this is probably my very last trip to Owyhee Reservoir in Oregon personally this year. There's a hurricane happening. So you know what day it is. The hurricane's hitting the coast down there in the Gulf into Texas, Louisiana, and I'm going to Sam Rayburn next week. And we'll see. I thought maybe I'd go out here and play around before I go. I was going to take my son, but he broke his arm, so he's kind of laid up in a cast. There's one right there. He's not very big. Ugh. We got him skimming. Poor fish. Poor fish. Not very big. Kind of sad. But, uh, oh, stop it. That's just me when he ate it coming at me. Set the hook so hard, I don't think he realized <laughs> what just happened to him. But, look at there. We do know what we're doing. This is one of Hal's favorite spots. It's called the Garden Party. Use the six pound test, right? The Bill Dance model. The Bill Dance model? Yeah, make it go. <laughs> hey, look what he got there. Hey, what's that on your arm? Does that say Accu Call? I call I mean, those are nice little arm sleeves that we got going on. Yeah, we had to turn the camera on on something. We got something over. Yeah, yeah, if you hold it really close, they're really big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. Hey, I think we kind of know what we're doing. Kind of. We aren't doing so good today. So we'll see what happens. We're, maybe maybe the wind's coming on. Bite's kind of on. We'll see what happens. Ooh. Oh, you just got a rat there. <laughs> Choked that jig. Yes, he did. Oh, I think I had one on about that big on my drop shot. Look at that. That's a beauty.
careful with that six pound test. <laughs> Choker. God. Need pliers? Oh, let's turn down the gullet. Need scissors? You have the rig side cuts? Cut the shank? There. <laughs> Grab the plastic out of the fish's mouth so that they don't digest it because they can't poop it out. There you go. And is the rest of it easy to get hold of? Ta da! Hooks out. Nice fish. Good four pounder. Four and a half, maybe? Mm. Yeah, four. See you, sweetie. So how do you contribute that to? Luck, skill, or? Dead luck. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Here's the deal. Carry a pair of big side cuts so you can cut the shank of the hook when they choke it so you can save them. And get the weight out of there and then save get them the and they're good to go. Yep. But you need big side cuts. Like those. Or bigger. We're on a spot here, which is a secret, secret spot. And it seems like there's a lot of crappie because I am, well, look at you, I've turned the camera on and he whacks one. I got crappie smacking me hard and I think I better get out of the way of Hal and his two pound fish here. Oh, did you, didn't get me, okay, good. We'll do this. He's doing a, got him another jigger. <laughs> but I mean the crappie are thicker than thick I can't get my rod to not get stopped I'm trying to drop shot here but can't get my rod to not stop being plowed and uh, man uh, I'm kind of heartbroken I went to grab the camera I had a really nice one on I went to grab the camera and it came on so I feel kind of stupid but We'll see what happens. I'm trying to catch one. We're catching a few fish. I was gonna, I'll set this down. Oh, I got one on right now. <laughs> Not a very big one. It's just a small one. But, ugh. This, this is my day so far. All right. <laughs> As you can see, I'll cast it out there. And then you watch my rod tip. As it's going down, you'll see him grab it. It's kind of crazy. This is a secret hole. It's called the Air Force or something. What's it called? For a secret, we call it the Air Aeronautical something. The, the museum. Crazy secret holes there. Yeah, it is, but. <laughs> but this seems like it's holding quite a few uh, crappie and bass, so we're gonna work this a little bit. I was trying to hide it from you. He got me to throw a jig. I was throwing everything else to be obstinate, but I threw the jig. Choked it. No, he didn't. Maybe he did. <laughs> okay, he choked it just a little bit. Come here. As you can see. I can't get him to eat a dang Carolina rig. I can't get him to eat drop shot very well. So then I gotta go to this. Gosh dang it. We'll try again. Let's see what happens. I'll make this little simple cast. Ah, 
<laughs> Not coming down. Did you cast that jig off? No, fish grabbed it. Oh, fish grabbed it and tied it. It's like they're following it. Doesn't it seem like to you? Like you throw the jig, you'll drag it 30 yards, and all of a sudden you get thumped. It's like they're just following it, or daring, or whatever. Who's going to eat it first? Dang jig fish. What the heck? I don't think you choked it, did he? <laughs> My turn. He's barely hooked too. As you can see. Well, he thumped it too, but he didn't choke it. That's all right. I didn't lose it. <laughs> he didn't choke it, but he thumped it. Come here. wanted to play possum. Uh, jig bite is definitely going to be it today. We're going to catch some more. And the jig I'm using, just so you know, I'm using a Pro Point lure, a little trailer, a crawdad, with a Picasso half ounce jig. They don't sponsor me. It is what it is. Oh, it's not that good. <laughs> oh, another one, huh? Come here, baby doll. There uh, we go. Another one. You lost the tail? <laughs> Here we go again. That's two casts in a row. I'm on fire. Look at me go. Yay me. <laughs> Come here, sweetheart. Slow it down. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta listen to people and throw a jig. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, he's throwing things at me now. Well, we're going to call this a day, yeah. right? 
Yeah, yeah we're gonna call it a day. This is a day. We're done. We're done. <laughs> He's going up to get my truck. And we all know, just because we take care of our fish, that bass lives matter. <laughs> but yeah, we're done. He's gonna jump on the dock. And uh, that get you good enough? And uh, he's gonna go get my truck, but it's just one of those fishing days that you need to work on. We had to really super slow it down. Nothing we had in our minds on the way up would work like we wanted it to, but it is what it is. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Help me out. I'll probably do some, got some merch. Like I said, you know, my AccuCool shirts with the Bass Lives Matter. Because uh, we do like to take care of our fish with our products. And uh, other than that, um, you know, our, we're going to probably sell some of this stuff and arm sleeves at a pretty good price. So thanks, guys. Um, AccuCole.com. Thank you.